everyone. Grace and peace and so much love is sent out to each and every one of you today. A um, couple of weeks ago, I think it was, I um, shared a, a picture of a candle. It was on a Friday and in um, instead of the Friday Funny that day, we, um, we were invited uh, to collectively um, light a candle together and um, I also uh, with that candle provided um, three beautiful, beautiful texts or pieces uh, from Holy Scripture. And I invited us to light the candle together and um, to pray silently within our hearts or to simply read the prayers or the, um, the, the words from Holy Scripture um, or to recite them um, aloud um, and offered it as an opportunity uh, for us to pray. Uh, for one another, indeed, throughout the whole of the world. And uh, today I'm going to share those prayers that were printed on that post. Um, as I said, I think it was a couple of weeks ago. I'm going to share those words with you um, aloud. And I'm going to do that uh, right now. I'm going to do that now. So I invite you to open up your hearts um, and your minds, indeed the whole of your spirits, uh, to the hearing of these holy words um, from Holy Scripture. The first um, was from Ephesians chapter 6, uh, beginning at verse um, 18. And uh, these uh, words were what I shared with you uh, that day in printed uh, form. They say, And pray in the Spirit on all occasions with all kinds of prayers and requests. With this in mind, be alert and always keep on praying for all the Lord's people. Amen. Aren't they beautiful words? They, um, they encourage me to think of uh, how our Lord Jesus Christ um, desires for us all to, to pray for, for people whom we know and also people whom we do, do not know and just to pray for situations in our communities and indeed throughout the whole of the world. Um, the first of the week, I always look at, uh, or at least try my best, um, to look at the common lectionary readings uh, for the following Sunday. And that reading that I just shared with you from Ephesians, um, it, it, it makes me think or encourages me to think about um, one of the lessons uh, for this coming Sunday on uh, the 30th, I believe it is, um, one of the lessons from Romans. Uh, beautiful, beautiful a uh, piece of scripture that encourages us um, in, in a very similar way to the Ephesians uh, reading does um, to, to love and to pray uh, for one another. The second that I shared with you in printed format on that, um, on that Friday uh, was from the Psalms. The Psalms are so very beautiful, so poetic, um, uh, so um, musically inspired, if you will. I shared a post with you one day about... Um, the little uh, Bible study, musical Bible study that I was engaged in online. It's such a beautiful opportunity to be collectively with Christians and to share in Holy Scripture and, and in music and to be moved by the Spirit. Uh, but that day I shared with you in printed format a Psalm 41, verse 1. The words were, Blessed are those who have regard for the weak. The Lord delivers them in times of trouble. Amen. Beautiful, beautiful words uh, once again. And then finally on that um, Friday, a couple of weeks ago, I shared with you words from the Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Matthew. And um, the words uh, were um, Matthew's uh, form of the Lord's Prayer. When the disciples looked to the Lord and said, Teach us, teach us how to pray. And Jesus said, this then is how you should pray. And he said the following words, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we also have forgiven our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. 
Amen. God bless you all. Have a beautiful, sacred, and happy day. Bye for now.